Hi sewing friends, it's Corinne from The Sewing Works and today I want to show you what I've got on my moxie frame and I'm making this gorgeous reverse applique bag. If you guys are not taking advantage of quilting bags on your long arm frames, you're totally missing out. I absolutely love to quilt them this way, nice and flat, big surface, and then take them off and construct them. So to add to the fun, we are doing reverse applique, which means I have stacked up the layers of fabric. There is a back that's loaded. There is, I like to use foam for my bags. Then I have blue fabric, then multicolored fabric, and then this gray on top of that. And what I do to the gray and the multicolored fabric, because those are gonna be the ones that I'm cutting holes in, I put heat and bond behind them or some kind of, um, glue-based adhesion like soft web or heat and bond so that after I cut this away the raw edge can be ironed down so that nothing frays and nothing opens up or pops any seams. So I'm going to give you a closer look and then I'm going to show you how to stitch it. So come with me. Okay so here we have the moxie frame. Actually this is the little foot frame with the moxie on it. And you can see I've already done this side of the bag and so I've only cut away the gray fabric here and then I've cut away the gray and the multicolor here to let the blue show through. I had to modify the quilting design just a hair and I might even adjust this other side a little bit more with the stem because I'm going to box my corners so I'm going to lose some of this from a side view once it's constructed. So keep that in mind. The pattern I'm using is for a flat bag. And so now, if you come over here, you can see how I've marked with the eight point crosshair square. And I've already done the small flower and the great big flower. And I'm gonna show you how to do the third flower. All right, we'll start with the center circle. I'm just gonna use my curved applique scissors to barely poke into that first layer of gray. The directions say to stay about an eighth of an inch away. That's really hard for me because I do so much embroidery applique that I end up trimming this pretty close. I'm definitely closer to like a 16th. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. All right, so we're gonna leave the next little ring gray and then we're gonna cut out all these petals, so. Okay, I wanted to bring you back one more time to show you how I do the blue color. So I'm gonna start this one just as I did the first, the flowers, by cutting away the gray. 
Be very careful not to cut your stitching when you do this. And then I'm gonna do that one more time, but just be careful that you're only getting one layer because you don't want to cut through the blue or your batting will show. Just like that. All right, so here we have it. All my applique shapes are cut out, or reverse applique shapes, I should be saying. And I have made this one a little narrower and the motif is a little higher from the base. And I think that's gonna end up looking better on my bag once it's all finished, but we'll see. Both sides are very cool. I hope you enjoyed this demo of reverse applique on the long arm. I'm gonna do some basic straight line quilting in behind my flowers before I take it off the frame and stay tuned for when I show you how to put the bag together. Thanks for joining us and happy sewing. Bye.